hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now, I'm just going to get straight into this one because it's a bit of, of a weird one. So hopefully you've been drawn in by the thumbnail. UK government, no, the UK government are going to ban machetes. What is the world coming to? So, I've seen quite a bit of this in um, the news, in the media, which we all know are pretty much there to sell headlines. They're not really interested in telling you the facts. They're interested in you thinking that there's this huge issue with machetes here in the UK. Now, the Office of National Statistics, I forget what it's called, it's called something like that, have even confirmed themselves. 80% of UK knife crime is perpetrated with knives that anybody, unless you know, you're know you under the age of 18, you can walk into an Asda, a Tesco, a Sainsbury's, even buy from Amazon, you can buy chef's knives. 80% of, uh, of knife crimes are done with those knives. The rest, uh, the, 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 the remaining 20% is kind of lumped into everything else. So that's butter knives, that's chisels, that's screwdrivers, but mainly it's with um, things like Stanley knives, that sort of stuff, box, box openers. But recently there's been some a lot, and I mean, you know, I, I showed a video once of the, the, the kind of thing that happened in Manchester. I think it was, a f well, might be more than a few weeks back, but there was some maniac running around with a machete. So, typical government have seen, oh no, there's some stuff going on with machetes, maybe we should look at banning machetes. So, a few weeks back in April, they proposed that they were going to have a talk, which was actually today, the 6th of June, um, where they were going to talk more about machetes and long knives. What is a long knife? What is the definition of a long knife? What is the definition? I'm sure, actually, you could probably find the definition of a machete. But when you look into what they were actually talking about more so, they're specific, specifically talking about a type of knife called a zombie knife. Now, anybody outside of the UK that doesn't know what a zombie knife is, also classed with the vast majority of people in the UK that don't know what a zombie knife is, a zombie knife is one of those god-awful knives that you see in American truck stop diner kind of places where you go in, you fill up with your gas, and you've got this disgusting looking knife that's probably made from copper covered in chrome to make it look sharp and, and nice weird lines that are an absolute pain in the arse to be um, well sharpen you know it, it's probably not tempered it's probably not even heat treated they're just pieces of crap that would probably break as soon as you sneezed on it the government in this instance are not looking at machetes, but they're using the term machetes as this smoke and mirrors thing. Like the government do, oh no, people are people are dying because of lots of pencil stabbings. Okay, let's look at pencils. Well, okay, pencils aren't the issue. I don't know where I was going with that one. And machetes aren't the issue. What they're looking at are longer and larger zombie knives. Okay, so they talk about machetes, they talk about long knives, which makes people in the HEMA community think, okay, we're going to have our swords took from them. You see people in the uh, agricultural community, uh, whether you're an arborist, whether you're a horticulturalist, or, you know, a, a farmer, they're not talking about those style machetes. In fact, I will show you, so, so here are the knives specifically that they have shown that are kind of case in point examples of what they see as a large machete style zombie knife. And they, they have three categories, or at least three touching points that make them fall into this category. The first one is that they have to have a sharpened edge. The second one is that they also have to have a serrated spine. And the third one is that they need to have more than one hole along the length of the actual bladed article itself. 
these things are the type of things that you can buy from wish.com. Again, truck stop knives, they just, I mean, if anybody considers themselves to be a knife maker and you're putting your name to this sort of stuff, there's a special place in hell for you kind of people for these knives. That's not a knife, but they're very easy to be able to pick up on sites like Wish, on sites like AliExpress. When you see policemen walking out of residences where they've searched somebody and had to take something away and you see them holding it for the newspapers, it looks like a knife that will inflict a lot of damage and a lot of pain. The vast majority of these knives aren't particularly sharp whatsoever and will do very little damage to you. Yes, in a thrusting motion, they would probably stick into you, but then so would a butter knife if you thrust it hard enough. Now I'm going to read from my phone for this bit, mainly because I just wanted to make sure that I stress this point. And this is this is from the .gov website, I'll leave a link from this below. It goes into a lot of this information, it talks about zombie knives. Now zombie knives are already on the banned knife list. You know, you just outright can't own one of these knives, even though they don't define what these knives are. They just show a picture. It's like you, you walk into a restaurant and it's like, I'll have that, please. You don't, it, it looks like egg and chips. Anyway, so, so right, okay. So machetes, other large knives, bladed tools, such as scythes, hook bills, and other large knives have traditionally been used uh, for farming, gardening, cleaning land, waterways, and other such outdoor activities, such as bushcraft which makes complete sense, you know, these are large knives that are designed, and I'm talking machetes uh, in this example, these are tools for clearing away shrubbery, generally dense shrubbery, um, bushcraft, hunting and camping. However, uh, we'd like to understand whether to what extent machetes and large outdoor knives are being needed in the UK today. The important line in here, and I think this is a point that I've seen a few people talking about this on, on YouTube, I've seen the media talking about this, and they kind of are portraying that they're trying to stop the legal use of machetes, but the important line in here is, we are not proposing a ban to machetes that have legal, ag that have legitimate agricultural or other purposes. What they are interested in is the views from respondents to whether or which machetes, and then it goes on about the practical use in the UK. They're talking about these other knives. Unfortunately, with a government that doesn't know their arsehole from their elbow when they're discussing knives, they just go, oh God, that looks like a machete, when really it's got absolutely nothing on paper that is a similarity to a machete other than the fact that maybe yes it is roughly 18 inches long it has a handle and there is a sharp part a traditional machete isn't used like that especially in the fact that the grind on a machete is more like a scandy grive it doesn't go all the way up the vast majority of the cutting action in the machete although yes they are sharpened is the swing and it hitting whatever it is that it's hitting to break that whereas on the flip side the vast majority of knives that are used by criminals being chef knives have a very thin knife. It's designed purposely for cutting animal's flesh. A machete is not designed to do that. And I think again, it's just the government, a knee-jerk reaction using the wrong terminology to discuss knives. Again, they don't know their arsehole from them, but all, half of these people, they're just, people that are in Parliament discussing this sort of stuff not because they feel that they well not because it is a deterrent to stop people from using machetes for gang violence but because people are going oh no someone on social media said somebody was attacked by a machete okay let's talk about machetes so it looks like we're doing something zombie knives are already illegal why are we just classifying zombie knives as small kind of knives when really a zombie knife could be up to 18 inches all they need to do is just really change the classification of a zombie knife to a longer or shorter zombie knife
I hope that makes sense. I, I, I didn't want this to be too long. Um, I will leave the link below so that you can you can read uh, the, the the bit that was put forth by the government and what they want to go into this consultation so that they can talk about. And you can see in there the actual classification of the type of knife and the, those those pictures that I brought up just as well. There is some other parts in there where they also want to discuss maybe changing. Um, the um, the sentence that you get it's up to two years I can't believe that it's up to two years I tell you what if you want to stop people using knives for gang violence put it up to ten years that will stop them from doing it I'm sure it probably will do within within a few months you might be able to have knife crime instead of talking spending time in Parliament to talk about semantics of a knife that you're classing as a machete that's not actually a machete you just need to change what your view is as far as a zombie knife is so that yeah you can save lives if you if you think that this is actually going to save lives instead of addressing the real problem which is young men and women in gangs that feel that it's necessary for them to do this sort of stuff Anyway, I made a few pieces of content a few weeks back discussing uh, UK knife laws and I, I opened it out and I'm going to do it with this mainly because I think the conversation that we've all been having has is, is actually been... It's good. It's good to be learning about how other countries work. Um, and it's also stayed quite civil as well. So let's hear your thoughts as well. What do you think on zombie knives? Do you think my classification as truck stop knives is actually the best classification for these style knives? And yeah, let's hear about those truck stop knives that you've picked up and realised that it's just a bag of wet badgers and probably binned it. But... Yeah, that's it. That's a quick one today. It's not a usual day. I don't usually post on a Tuesday, but I thought I'd heard a lot about this and I knew that they were just they were they were talking about this today in Parliament. So I thought, yeah, I'd make some content. But when you see other people talking about this sort of stuff, headlines say machete, but they're not really talking about machetes. They're talking about these larger, longer zombie knives. So yeah. Let's see your comments below, uh, and usual, I'll leave my um, social media links below, but for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. That was a shit one, short, that was a shit one? No, I meant that was a short one today. Governments, honestly, governments around the world. I know I'll waffle a little bit towards the end after this bit, but it's ridiculous. If you took every knife off the face of this planet, criminals would go out and buy cricket bats what are we going to do then ban cricket bats we ban cricket bats what do they pick up next 12 inch rubber cocks 18 inch rubber double-ended dildos damn 15 dead at the weekend from 18 inch double-ended dildo massacre let's ban double-ended dildos 18 inch double-ended dildos imagine the catastrophe then uh, yeah, what a stupid world we live in. So yeah, there you go. Hope you're all having a good Tuesday. Uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.